Trump may be going to jail. Oh my goodness. So let me just say, this thing is crazy, okay? If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go check it out because this lawsuit, all right, between United States versus Trump is absolutely insane. And I just have to say, I feel some type of way about it, okay? Because I was reading through it and, you know, skimming over everything. And it comes to a point where Trump is talking about who I believe to be Sidney Powell, okay? And I remember listening to Sidney Powell. I remember her talking about the Kraken, you know, the, the second Kraken. And I was like hyped about this because I was like, OK, she has some evidence to prove that there was election fraud. She has evidence, right? There's a, a you know, Kraken. We got the Kraken. We're going to file this lawsuit. And I don't know. I feel like, a, a, you know, a dummy, you know, for lack of better words. That's why I feel like because in here it, it states how Trump was on the phone allegedly with S Sidney Powell and he called her crazy. He said that, you know, what she was saying was 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 insane was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And I don't know, I just feel, I feel like, you know, I got got. Like, there's no worse feeling than you believing someone and that person who you believe, believes you're an idiot, right? For believing them. So it, it, what makes it worse is that he may have distanced himself from Sidney Powell, but then he goes on to promote all of her lawsuits against Dominion and everything. So, I, I mean, he's listening to her as he's laughing and calling her, you know, crazy, you know, on mute while on the phone. And I don't know, man, that just really, that rubbed me the wrong way. But in this, in this, what, 165 uh, page uh, a lawsuit, it is absolutely insane what Trump is alleged to have done. Absolutely insane. And how they're getting around it, because due to the Supreme Court, um, I I immunity and everything, is, there, is that Jack Smith is trying to say, hey, this has nothing to do with him being president, this has nothing to do with immunity. This is what he was doing as a sovereign citizen, okay? So he's trying to make sure that the immunity has nothing to do with the charges, you know, uh, levied against Trump. So, so they can make it stick. And I get it. Uh, we'll see if that holds. But the fact that the judge, okay, released this and it's redacted, but it's not really redacted. Because <laughs> that's the crazy part. Because people have already figured out who these people are. Because they'll be like, redacted and they were like oh this is the the chief senior advisor for 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 the president and it's like well at that time this is who that was but what this entails is how they attempted to literally steal the election okay i mean i'm I, that's not even hyperbole it's trying to steal the election try to sow chaos because at the end of the day some of the things, they, they weren't even fully sure that they would win, but it was just the fact that they could delay the certification of, of the, the, the presidency, of the votes, that they could cause chaos. And out of that chaos, they would try and find a way to victory. That's what I got from it. And I'm like, that is so insane. That's crazy. There's a portion where they're talking about Detroit, Michigan, and, you know, one of their, 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 their people is like saying that, hey, they, there's a bunch of votes that don't seem to be favorable to Trump, right? That they seem to be going for Biden and that they're right. And the, 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 one of the attorneys is like, well, find a way to make them not right. Give me, give me some cause for litigation. And he's trying to find a way to tie this up in court. Then it gets to the point where the person's like, hey, this, you know, this may cause unrest here. And he's like, hey, do it. Make them riot. And I'm just like, yo, these people were freaking crazy. These people were nut jobs. They were willing to leverage the American people to get their way. And I'm like, we see this on January 6th. And then they talk about how, hey, we could force the hand of the Supreme Court to, to, to vote on this due to fear that riots would, you know, would, would come out uh, uh, if, they, if they don't uh, judge on the, on the case. And I'm just like, bro, these people are diabolical. These people are diabolical. Now, the person who was alleged to, to be this person is, is, is Cheese Bro. And I'm just like, he really surrounded himself 
with a bunch of, you know, POSs. But going through this page after page, it just gets worse and worse. How they were trying to act like their, you know, their elector observers were being denied access. And all of this was a lie just to, to, to cause chaos. That was the whole goal, was to cause chaos so that they can win. Then it gets into what they did to Pence. Bruh, apparently this fool sent a text message laying out the plan that Pence was supposed to do in order to give the win to Trump. Talking about, hey, just give it to Trump. How they were going to do fake electors and then sow division uh, uh, you know, upon, you know, uh, uh, Pence saying that, hey, these are the real electors, but they weren't real electors because they weren't signed off. It was this whole scheme just to cause chaos. Just to cause chaos, listen to me, to cause chaos. The constant attacking on Pence, the fact that they were talking about, hey, we should limit the text messages because I'm paranoid and everything. Like, uh, like essentially saying that, hey, what you're doing is, is not legal, bro. And they, they, they knew it wasn't legal. That they knew that they were, they were playing a dangerous game. And then we have Trump berating Pence, talking about people will hate you, okay, that you're too honest. And I'm just like, bruh, they, this, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how you can read through this and still be like, yeah, let's go Trump. Because the crazy part is he's doing it still. He's still doing it. They asked him about, you know, what do you think about the election, your fair election? And he's like, I'll tell you in 33 days. Did I what? Do you trust the process this time around? I'll let you know in about uh, 33 days. No, Mr. look, I'm in 33. Bro, he's doing the same thing over again, bro. He's doing the same thing over again. And now we don't have pets. We have freaking J.D. Vance. And one of the reasons for J.D. Vance is that he's a loyalist, as he says, that he would have done what they had asked him to do. Instead of Pence, who Trump said was too honest, that J.D. Vance is all about it. Let's go. And why not? He has no future, really. He has no career to, to undermine. He's, what, been in, been in the Senate for, like, what, a year and a half or so? I was clear on that throughout. I was clear with President Trump throughout all the way up to the morning. Uh, of January 6th. But let, let's let's be clear on this point. It wasn't just that they asked for a pause. Uh, the president uh, specifically asked me and his gaggle of, uh, of crackpot lawyers asked me to literally reject votes, to, which would have resulted in, uh, in the issue being turned over to the House of Representatives and literally chaos would have ensued. So I'm just like, these people are evil. That's evil, bro. That's evil and wicked to sow division and chaos just so you can try and win an election that you know that you lost. You know that you lost, all right? And he's talking about it doesn't matter if you win, doesn't matter if we won or lost, fight like hell. And I'm like, bruh, come on, fam. Just come on. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. This thing was absolutely just damning, absolutely damning to anyone I don't know who, who loves the country. All these people who want to talk about patriots and everything, to hear what they did is wild. It's cuckoo for Cocoa Puss. Everything from the, the fake electors to, to trying to say make them riot, um, to, to trying to, to get Pence in on it. Just everything, everything to cause chaos. Because that's what it was. It was chaos. In many cases, they knew that they weren't going to win. But they wanted to cause chaos to stall, right? To stall the certification just to see. Just like, yo, maybe we can do a Hail Mary and get him in here. But the only thing that was really stopping them was Pence. The only thing that was really stopping them was Pence. And that's why he so vigorously attacked Pence. And, you know, that's why you had them talking about hang Mike Pence. It's just, I don't know, man. It's uh, just reading through this. It is something else. It is truly something else. And I genuinely fear they're going to do this again. They're going to do this come November. I, you know, because you have to understand they, they haven't changed the script. He's still saying that he that the election was stolen. J.D. Vance couldn't say that he lost. So they're still saying this. And these people, these people of the Republican Party, these simpletons, they will do the same thing again.
They will do the same thing again because they're doing the same rhetoric. Okay, the, the you know the they're trying to destroy the country. That they hate the country. I'm the only ones you know trying to stop them. Hey, it's a deep state. All of this, bro. All of this. Trump talking about that. Hey, you know, even though even though the votes aren't all in, I'm gonna just say that I won. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna say that I won. I'm just like, it would be different if his constituents had an IQ above room temperature. It'd be different. Because people would be able to see it just like I did. I was like, this, this is BS, right? After the first, you know, the first cracking got me, the second cracking, okay. The third, there is no third cracking, bro. <laughs> there is no third cracking. Once you start losing, you know, court case after court case after court case after court case, you know, due to insufficient evidence, um, due to no standing, it's just, it, it starts to paint a picture that anyone, any reasonable person be like, okay, you lost, let's try again. But when we, we you got Sidney Powell with, you know, Dominion, you have Fox News who is promoting this foolishness that the fact that they got sued, bro, they lost. They lost. And unfortunately, these people aren't too bright. They're not. And they are, will listen to Trump off the cliff. Anyways, guys, that's a video. I, I, I don't know what to say. What do you, what do you say to this? What do, you, what do you genuinely say to this, bro? If you read <laughs> what I read, if you look over, just do a, a, a brief... Uh, uh, skim over the 165 pages, just seeing some of the stuff that's alleged to have, he has said, he have, people have done. I, what? What's the argument here? I, I don't. I don't know. I'm all ears. Don't get me wrong. I'm all ears. Now, if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me. Friday through Sunday, disagreement day. You can call in, duke it out. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, to let me know what you guys think, and subscribe. And oh. That fun stuff. And this is there's nothing fun about this. This is getting scary. Uh, until next time, guys, be amazing. Literally chaos would have ensued.